Welcome to this intro to Illustrator Getting Started Workshop. I'm going to start off by creating a document. So if you want to work along with me, let's go ahead and click on New File. And we're going to set the size. Let's go ahead and change the measurement to pixels. And then go ahead and put in a measurement. And we're going to just do a simple 500 by 600 document here. And this is 500 by 600 pixels. You do have to enter in the measurement before you type in the numbers. All right, and then scroll down to the bottom to create the document. <clears throat> All right, what's going to happen here is you're going to see your Illustrator window. I'm going to pull mine in so that you can see all of it at once. We do want to have the same workspace just because it's going to make more sense. Uh, workspace is the arrangement of all of these panels around your screen. I'm going to go to Window, Workspace. If you are in um, Essentials, Let's switch to Essentials Classic. It's exactly the same, except it adds a bar up here at the top. And I like having that bar up there. Essentials Classic. Okay, there we go. Now we have a bar at the top. And then let's take a look around the screen. At the very top, these pull-down menus, this is your menu bar. Below the menu bar is this little bar here called the control bar. And it changes based on what tool you're clicked on over here. You'll notice that it will change. The left-hand side over here where my tools are is your toolbar. And your toolbar, because if you have a big screen, it's going to look different. But your toolbar may be one long list of buttons or, like it is here because I'm on a laptop, two little columns of buttons. Um, down here as well, you're going to find your zoom button. And then in the bottom corner of your screen, you'll also see a zoom. And, and there's a drop down here. Uh, there is a rotation button, so like if you were creating a design and it was flipped on its side, but you needed to work on that side for a minute, you can rotate your artboard. This area that you work on, the big white, what we often call the piece of paper, uh, that's the artboard. That's the uh, workspace area that you want to work in. And then over here are panels. And these little tabbed things are called panels. You're also going to have shortcut icons to other panels that you can bring up. So like if I click this, my swatches panel will pop up. If I click it again, it will hide. Now we do want to keep the properties panel to the right. In the newer versions, like 2019 on in Illustrator, you're going to have most of the things you need over here in this properties panel. So it's kind of a handy little spot. All right, now you don't have to do anything yet, but you can if you want to. We'll just delete it before we move on to the next session. But what I've done is grabbed my rectangle tool and then clicked and dragged out to create a rectangle. Uh, over here on your color picker, you can change the color of those. That top color is the fill color. This bottom color is the stroke color. The stroke is just a fancy word for the outside border. You can also access those up here on the control bar at the top, and you can set that stroke size or weight to make it thicker, as you'll see here. Now, in my classroom, I like to refer to the selection tool as our home base. If you press the letter V on your keyboard, you'll notice this black arrow button here is activated. That is your selection tool. Your selection tool is what allows you to pick up and move things around. It's a very important tool that you will go back to when you want to do just about anything. You can rotate whenever you're on this tool by pointing to the outside edge and getting a funny little arrow like so. That's your rotation. You can resize by pulling in on any of those handles. And then there's certain things that you'll just need to click on a point and that's what you're going to use to click on the point. All right, I'm going to draw a second shape. I'm going to draw an ellipse. If you click and hold the rectangle, any circular shape is referred to as an ellipse. So I'm going to click that. Again, I'm going to just draw something. It'll draw an oval or a circle if you hold shift. Once you let go, back to home base. That's your V or your selection. And then you can pick it up and move it around. Notice you're going to see some little pink things popping up on my screen. Those are your smart guides. They try to help you line things up. So this lines this up uh, right there on the edges of each of those shapes. And notice it's putting a, that pink line right on the middle of the border of the stroke of each of those shapes so that we can line them up perfectly. 
If I go towards the middle, you can see here it lines them up in the center of each other. So that's what the SMART guides are for. They kind of help you to find the intersection points of various things. Finally, for this first session, let's just take a look at how to zoom in and how to zoom out. If you press Control, and we're on Windows here, Control Plus, that zooms in, uh, Control Minus zooms out. Again, notice that your zoom level will show in the bottom left-hand corner. Control Plus, Control Minus. All right, when you click on a shape, again, we'll be coming to this Properties panel a lot. So notice that when I'm clicked on that shape, I have a lot of options. I can set the width and height of my shape. So if I wanted to make this circle a 100 by 100 pixel circle, I could do that. Just double click in that box, 100. I'm gonna press Tab, 100, Tab. And then notice now I have a perfect circle. So I can set my width and height here. I can also adjust the fill and stroke and the stroke size here. The opacity, which is how see-through the shape is here. So we can then see through it. There's some other things that we can access through here called effects. And then you'll see alignment. So I could use the alignment if I select both of these, again, with my black arrow, just draw a big box around everything. I can use the align button and I can center these two items to each other. That's centering horizontally. Or there's this center, which centers them in the middles, center vertically. And then finally, when you're clicked on a shape, if I click off, I can now click back on one single shape then you're also going to have quick actions. And again, it depends on what you've got selected. When I have this one shape selected, I have these options. But if I select both shapes at the same time and come down here, I have different options, such as group. So those options are gonna change based on what's currently selected on your artboard. All right, so this is just a basic introduction to working your way around Adobe Illustrator. I'll see you back for session two.